Welcome back to another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today's tip <clears throat> is actually kind of just the utilization of one of Illustrator's features here for selecting similar objects. But I've found that when I go to cut things up, like if I was going to make this into a logo, or rather I was making this into a logo, um, and I wanted these trees here around the bottom, but I don't want all this extra junk, and I don't particularly love doing uh, layer masks and things where the data is actually still existent, but um, you just can't see it. It's, act it's like hiding out, um, and if you go into it, you can find it and all that. I'm not a big fan of doing that. Uh, and I usually end up using um, divide a lot. And I've found that it's kind of an OCD thing. I just don't like using the trim and outline and crop methods where you do things like this. Because then you end up with still, you've got the shape and you can ungroup it and you've got, you know, it creates its own set of problems. Sometimes you end up with you know, objects like this, which are actually have no fill and no stroke, and it's just kind of, you may accidentally forget to delete it, and then your document's filled up with all these weird things. Um, even if that happens, the tip here is an easy way to get rid of those. Um, so, like, in my instance, if I wanted to keep only these parts of the trees inside the ring, what I would do is just tint the ring um, a different color, or actually just tint the um, the whole circle a different color and make sure that it's a color you don't use in your document anywhere. If you need to like click in the bar here to get something really weird, that's fine. And then make your trees down here um, also a different color. Again, not one that's in the document anywhere. And then when you divide those, you can very easily ungroup them and all you have to do then is click the ones that you want to get rid of, in this instance this dark blue color, and do select same fill color, and that'll grab everything that you don't want, and then you can just hit delete. And same thing, like if I wanted to keep the stuff at the top, you could do that. Um, another benefit of this technique is that if you end up, or come here, um, if you end up cutting stuff with divide or crop or any of these other tools and you have these chunks floating around that are you know no fill no stroke but you don't know where they are because you might not know that they're in your document an easy way is just to make a box or a circle it could be anything set it to no fill and no stroke and then do select same fill color and what do we know? Now we've got it found the ring and it also found these little gaps here in the trees. And I can very easily just hit delete and now all that junk is out of my file um, without messing anything up. And then I, that way I can deal with only, this, only the elements that are actually tinted and my files cleaned up. Uh, so that's the tip. Um, it really can be used in a myriad of applications but You'll find that when working in Illustrator, a lot of times using this select menu up here, which these don't have shortcuts, but just ways to find similar stroke weights, fill colors, opacities, things like that, it'll help you manage all of your objects in your file very easily. So if you have any questions, shoot them to me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, or whatever, and hope it was helpful.